Yo, what is going on guys? It's Zordo back here with a brand new video for you guys. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you guys can stream um, from your Xbox One onto YouTube or Twitch in 2020. So it's very simple. Let me jump right into the video, guys, and let's begin. So the first thing we're going to cover is the things you actually need in order to start streaming on YouTube or Twitch in 2020 from your Xbox. So obviously, number one, you're going to need an Xbox. Um, I have the Xbox One S, but this should work on the normal Xbox One or the normal Xbox One X. And the next thing you're going to need is either a computer or a laptop of some kind. I believe that Apple products work. Um, I personally use Windows 10 to do this. And the next thing we're going to need is an Elgato Game Capture. I will put a link in the description to the Elgato Game Capture website. They have tons of cool stuff. The one I use is actually from about seven or eight years ago. It's pretty old, but it still works in great condition. So these things definitely can outlast the test of time. So the next thing you're going to need is also a microphone. Any microphone will do. Um, obviously, the higher quality microphone, such as the Blue Yeti microphone, which is what I use, which is also what many streamers use because it's such a great microphone for the price point that it's at, is actually not too bad at all. All right, so once you guys have your Elgato game capture, it might look something like this, and there's going to be um, two holes on one end and two holes on the other end. So I'm going to show you guys how to hook this up. This is basically an HDMI cable. It runs into the, I believe that says, you guys can't see it, but this is the input in section or the HDMI in. The HDMI in runs into your Xbox. This is the HDMI out, and this runs into your um, TV. And then this little cable right here runs into your PC via a USB cable. Okay, so once you properly hook up your Elgato game capture, it's going to prompt you to download this application right here onto the computer at which you plug in the USB. So once it's all plugged in properly, it will ask you to download this app and you are going to download it onto your computer. And when it's done, it should look something like this. So once you open it up, it's going to look something like this. It's going to say Game Capture HD, and I'm currently turning my Xbox on. So this is what it's going to look like if you do not have an Xbox like on at the moment. And whenever you run this setup, you're going to have to have your laptop or your computer on and plugged in in order to run your Xbox. So while my Xbox is starting up, it's going to look like this. So I'm having a little bit of technical difficulties right now. Anyways, the next thing you're going to want to do is download Streamlabs OBS. I will leave a link to that down in the description. It is super, super easy to find and very easy to download. And let's jump into the next step once you have that downloaded. Okay, so right now I'm inside of my computer. You guys can see my computer screen. Um, this is my actual YouTube streaming scene. These are called scenes and these are called sources. So I have my YouTube scene. But right now I need you guys to see my PC. So I currently have you guys viewing my PC, which is what this display capture is right now. I'm going to add a new source. Sorry, what you guys are first going to do is you're going to make a scene. So add a scene, name it whatever you want, and then go from there, okay? Okay, so once you guys go to the add source, you're going to see where it says video capture. You're going to see where it says Elgato. Um, go to add source, and then I, I don't think you're going to have to do this, but I am going to have to. You don't have to click this. Uh, I'm going to make it Xbox One test and hit add source. And then you guys won't be able to see this. Let me just change it. Make that really small for you guys so you guys can't see it. If you guys have a laptop, which is what I'm doing it on, you're going to be able to see. Um, I have my webcam like taped over so no one can see it. I'm going to change this to Elgato Game Capture HD. And it will make your Xbox screen go black for a second while it connects. Okay, so what you're going to do is go to device defaults, change it to custom. Um, depending on what you're doing, you might be able to leave it the same. Make sure it's on 1920 by 1080 or whatever the best option is. I changed my frame PS to 60. You might be able to do unlimited, I'm not too sure, um, depending on the game capture. And then I'm going to hit done. And it will take a second to actually kind of work and go through all of this. I'm just going to wait on this screen until it happens. Sometimes clicking configure video makes it go faster. So there, as I hit configure video, it worked. Um, so now you guys can see, um, I'm going to hit done. What you're going to do is it's going to be small or really big. What you're going to do is adjust it to make it fit this full screen. Obviously, I'm currently not going to make it that because I want you guys to see my PC screen. 
Um, so what you guys can do from here is you can add all kinds of sources. If you guys want to add, um, if you guys want to add an alert box, if you guys want to add a viewer count or a member goal, you guys can add all these things. And I'll leave a link in the description on how to do all this stuff. Um, it's not me personally. It's a, a YouTube channel that actually helped me a lot um, make my channel what it is now um, with all the effects and all that crap. So once you guys have your Xbox set up, what you're going to do is go down to your settings tab. You're going to go to stream and you guys can mess with all these settings as much as you'd like. I'm not going to go over it in this video. I'm just going to go over the basics and you're going to make sure do not use the recommended settings. I, when I used it, I couldn't even stream. It was really weird. So make sure you have your streaming services set. Uh, don't do custom streaming, uh, YouTube gaming, or if you want to stream on Mixer, Facebook, Twitch, whatever you want to do. Um, then you go to primary YouTube server. And then this is going to be your stream key. If you do not know where to find your stream key for, if you go to YouTube, you will find it on there somewhere. Okay, even just Google how to find my stream key on YouTube and it should be pretty straightforward. Um, you do not want anyone to ever see your stream key. If someone sees your stream key, um, they can then stream on your profile without you even knowing it. So make sure you keep your stream key private. Don't even show your friends, your parents, your grandpa, your grandma, your cat, your dog, your hamster, doesn't matter. Um, then you're going to hit done. And once you hit go live, you're then going to be able to see your stream. So basically this screen here, you're going to be able to see that on YouTube. Okay. So basically you would have this at full. Um, this would be your Xbox. And then sometimes you put a banner up top. And then you have an alert box and stuff like that. So if you guys did enjoy this video and did find it helpful, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Leave a like down below, guys. I really appreciate it. Have yourselves a fantastic day. We will see you all in the next video, guys. And take these guys. Peace out.